arrived in Hanoi, Vietnam. So we arrived here from Bien Tien uh, yesterday. We are staying at the Hanoi Symphony. What are you doing? Uh, too many mirrors hotel. And we have arrived in the middle of a typhoon, the great storm. Hanoi, the old quarter, the great storm. <laughs> and I'm walking too slow. So we share the street with scooters, cars, pedestrians, carts, and the pavement is basically used for parking and eating. So we're taking a stroll through Hanoi today. It's a bit wet and windy because of the storm. So we're doing a museum day. This is the West Lake and it's really nice because there's a big wide boulevard where you can walk without being mown down by motorcycles. We have also booked today a cruise to Halong Bay. And the guy at the hotel looked at us and said, you're young, you want party cruise? No. No party cruise here. And he was like, why? We then explained we wanted quiet old people cruise and he was like, okay. And then he said, very good seafood, fresh every day. So we, we said, explained, no. No. <laughs> we're vegan. And he was like, oh, so you eat fish, you eat eggs. And we were like, no. And he looked very confused by only vegetable, but kind of got it and then said, that is why you like quiet. What was that there? This is the proper temperature that it should be. Everyone else, all the Vietnamese, have got their full wet weather gear on, their hats and their coats, because it's the coldest day of the year. And I think this is the best weather we've had so far. I've had to resort to putting jeans on. I miss the sun and the warmth. Give me 30 degrees again. What's the coffee like? Nothing like I've ever tasted. Good or bad? It smells like, um, it smells chocolatey, like sweet chocolate, caramel. <laughs> it's really bitter, like sort of smoky. Yeah. And I've got coconut milk to go in mine. It's got a very kind of smoothness smooth and almost oily. It's very, that's, I've never, never had coffee like that. Mm. Coffee fail. This coffee, oh. I think has better in. Maybe fish. an awesome little street in the heart of Hanoi so kind of going down the south part away from the lake called Book Street and on each side of this little pedestrianized street there are little bookstores and book cafes and it's all very very nice from 
the cat. There is a lovely little creature we call a vegan bear. Hmm? No, it's the right way up. Be a vegan bear. Huh? I can see on the screen it's the right way up. Be a vegan bear. <laughs> so here is the lovely yoga studio and cafe. The Zenith Yoga Studio Cafe, there it is. And this is what we had to walk through to find it. So we were using a map and couldn't find it anywhere. And this is probably why. Because this is the road it's shown as being on. And it's actually all the way through there. Trying to cross the road in Hanoi. Oh, hang on, what are we saying? <laughs> Go, Greeks, let's go. Go, go, go. Go? go. Uh -uh. Whoa. Yep. Safe. Safety first. So it's day two in Hanoi. The typhoon has stopped which is awesome and today is our day of admin so we are sorting out Indian visas, Indian train tickets and all that fun but first we are heading to the gym that Chris found yesterday so I will show you how crazy the streets of Hanoi are Sorted. Off to grab some food. Again, navigating crazy streets, and it's nearly lunchtime, so people need to be popping out to grab their street snacks on the streets. There's people building stuff, parking a bike. So every now and again, you have to hop onto the road where traffic comes in multiple directions. People seem to use the shops in the front, and then they live above. People actually wear, yeah, people actually wear those hats, those straw hats for real here. She's just having a coffee and a ciggy. Just a little plastic table on the pavement. You see loads of people like from the countryside selling their bits and pieces with the actual straw baskets. We really like the city. So this is Food Street in the Old Quarter, which is kind of, I <laughs> think you didn't which is kind of um, proper backpacky, but lots and lots of street food. They're selling pho with the donuts. There's a salad shop with street smoothie places, so it's a good place to find somewhere to stay, or if you're into the street food, to come find coffee. So they have the egg coffee here. And a restaurant called Green Mango, which apparently is very good, but we haven't been to. We found this awesome salad baguette shop where they do a vegetable salad and the lady will make it with just a soy sauce and chili sauce and it's all fresh and all vegan so I've got that to go with whatever is in my rice but we think it's taro and some nuts but Chris is getting a little antsy because he's trained and he is a rumble term they have smashed cock fruit. Uh oh. But this is kind of what people seem to do for lunch, like on tiny little stools, all huddled together, eating like amazing stuff. Massive plates of meat, chili, garlic. I know, I saw that. Fire coconut cream, but I thought it might be coconut creamy. Next time.
day we decided just to have an admin day and sort out all our stuff for India, which is a bit of a headache, but it's all done. And today we're going to go and explore the northwest part of the city, so around the West Lake area, and going up to the river that cuts through. But first, we're going to have coffee time and then go for a run around the lake and find something called Muscle Beach which looks like it's some rusty weights outside by the lake, but it looked fun. Trainers on, leggings on, high impact sports bra on. Eight o'clock, time to run. So post run, we have wandered out and gone up to the north part of the town, up towards the river, and we've stopped at Loving Cup which is an all vegan chain and it's kind of tucked away that alley somewhere and all the menu is vegan and super cheap. Post lunch at Loving Hut and we have made our way over to the waterfront. It's really cool. There's lots of museums. There's a really nice wide path for you to walk along. As it's Hanoi, it's obviously really busy, but there's all like shrines and the trees. And definitely worth a visit to. come through here and we've come to the temple of Quan Tan so it's a lovely little park with your Buddhist temple in the center taking a little stroll down by the West Lake you stroll yeah. strolling would you ever do a little spin as you strolled would you spin as you strolled? I can Watch, watch, let me spin and stroll. Ready? Idiot. Hanoi life. You're just walking along and there's a little rooster friend. And then there's this badass thing. Mental, huge, great big turkey. And this is not in a cage. And then Bear has found our new favourite pet. What is his name? Bear. Bear. What is he? The bear. He's okay. beautiful. Okay. Oh, we're all right, thank you. Where are you from? England. 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 Yes. <laughs> is this your dog? Yes. He's lovely. We found this really cute vegan cafe yesterday called La Studio. It is hidden up an aisle on the second floor in the old quarter and it's awesome. We had granola with vegan ice cream, pumpkin pie and coffees and crystal and cat mug because he loves cats so much. And all of that is 140,000 dong, so about three pound fifty. Thank you so much. So it's our last full day in Hanoi and today we are going to find a really cool coffee shop and art shop called Manzi and from there we're going to try and find the vegan Ban me, which is the vegan sandwich sauce. Should be easy. There are cool coffee places literally everywhere you look. So Koma there, Drew Coffee on the corner, 
the French influences are very, very real. And what I think is awesome is that everyone will just sit together on the side of the street and it doesn't matter if you're a businessman or someone selling stuff or if you've come into town selling your stuff from the farm everyone just sits together on a plastic stool eating their breakfast or their lunch no social rankings at all and just as an example of how people use the pavement this woman's doing a washing fixing roller skates it's just amazing coffee shop and art dealer called Mamsi and how colonial is this it's beautiful with the bamboo through the doors it's got an art exhibition as well as being a cafe so this place Mamsi is incredible the art is beautiful it's slightly out of our price range but you can stay here and sit in the craziness of the old course. to share this is where we stop for lunch I don't know if you can see him the sign above his head says Che Ban Mi Che which means vegan sandwiches this is the restaurant this is Beth but it is ridiculously ridiculously cheap so less than 50p for a sandwich like nothing for a spring roll and dessert and it's all Vietnamese traditional sweet desserts and all food is vegan Yay. and this is what your 50p gets you it's one of the best sandwiches I think I've had stuffed full of tofu and vegetables warm baguette it's fab so after our ridiculously cheap lunch we've come to the cathedral and down these nice little streets we have got ourselves some propaganda posters so more stuff for our house kind of running out of wall space and again they're having like pre-wedding shoots here in front of the cathedral I'm not quite sure how you'd edit out the railings 